Utilizing the accelerator portfolio, we were able to perform the co-simulation of a landing gear retraction analysis through the strong integration and synergy between 3D motion and 1D system simulation. From Team Center, we can see all the program management artifacts such as product structures, tasks and deliverables that can be reused across multiple programs and projects. Once we have our desired data, the co-simulation is first performed by modeling the hydraulic actuator system for the landing gear in system simulation, which can then be integrated to 3D CAE to perform a motion analysis. Utilizing a vast integrated model library embedded within AmiSim, we can select and reuse components such as a hydraulic actuator model, where we can define the parameters to set up and simulate the hydraulic actuator system. Additionally, to support the co-simulation study, interface blocks can be selected to integrate the system simulation to the 3D CAE simulation, which can be performed simultaneously during the development process. When a mechatronics model has been created within the CAE environment for motion analysis, the system simulation model can be linked via the desired parameters to the 3D model. The model can then be solved and results analyzed where we can plot graphs to further understand elements such as the velocities and the displacements being experienced within the model. This close connection between the system simulation to 3D CAE provides us with a multitude of benefits, such as allowing us to modify the parameters of the actuator and then being able to quickly visualize the impact of those changes within the 3D environment. It enables us to increase the maturity of our designs earlier on in the development process, allowing more time to be spent on quality rather than redesign. And we also gain an increased confidence in our designs and prototypes, reducing the risk of costs during downstream processes such as during the physical build stages. And so, the integration of system simulation and motion simulation supports us to connect the different silos within engineering departments, reducing engineering risks, program delays and budget overruns, making the development process more efficient and speeding up time to market.